how long were you in Broken Wall for? I was two and a half months. Two and a half months. The American came on the 11th of April. We saw the... It was tough time. And the last week was no food available for us. Last eight, ten days was not available food. Very limited what we had only in the camp. People hadn't got no food because they couldn't bring in food to the camp, the Germans alone. So what they had, they had to need, need it for themselves. And they was holding the camp. There was rumors even that gonna maybe I mean explode the camp. Was rumors going on. But somehow the the underground in the camp they didn't have arms, you know, they they tried to, to watch and to do things what to be prepared for a lot of things. They couldn't go out and to do and to give help. But because you know Buchenwald is means in German the wood is named Buchen. Wald is a forest. It was high in the mountain and for the American alone it was hard to come up there by things because they had a very big tough time to come. They come by parachutes, they come by certain things. They had a very tough time. We saw already the war close, 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 very by because we saw at night time the, 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 the shots and the bombarding and the things we heard it. But, you know, the day when we was liberated from the Americans, we came out. I was so weak because I didn't have food, only water what I was drinking. I couldn't stand already of my legs, so weak I was. And we was, you know, our willpower. Were you starving at this? Yes, in the last two days, in two, three days, hardly no food at all. Just water was, but that's all. We was already so depressed, so tired. We couldn't stand of our legs already. And I will never forget, it was there. American army when they come in, how they was crying. Soldiers. Those people. The first time in my life I saw people, you know, like black people and the, and the arm, American army, but I never saw it. They tried to help us to pick us up, the people. They put us in, in their, ca in their places where the German used to stay, in the hospitals. And the American tried how much they can because the war was going on. Was there one officer, a Jewish officer in the American Ar Army, I will never forget his name. His name was Rabiner Marcos. He was the chapel from the American Army for the Jewish soldiers. And he tried how much he can in his power to help us. But he had the time. He tried so much for a lot of things to help us more because he saw what is going on. And a lot of things, but it was a mistake even from, soldier, from the American soldiers. They didn't mean this, but they tried to help us. They tried to give us food because we were so hungry. And I was thinking to myself, if I will have a bread in my home, in my hand, I shall eat it freely with no worry for tomorrow, I will be the happiest person. The brothers' food, the brothers' anything, a lot of people died from this because they got diarrhea, dysentery, you know, the stomach wasn't used to food. I myself I had the diarrhea very bad, but some of my friends too, but I was lucky I couldn't eat much because I was weak. So somehow the army and the doctors, what they had up, they helped us a lot. And we was already staying not so much in the camp, we were staying where the, um, the Germans uh, barracks was and in the hospital that they tried then come people from the United uh, Nations they called it from the other camps photographers and journalists and they tried to see what's going on I was there in the camp till the month of May June till recuperate a bit 